Welcome to the Victory Education Lounge. We're thrilled to have you join us for another exciting episode. Before we dive in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts or experiences. Your engagement helps us create more valuable content for you. Today we're exploring part 121 of our series, the role of exercise in reversing insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a growing health concern that can lead to type 2 diabetes and other serious health issues. But there's good news, exercise can play a crucial role in reversing this condition. Let's dive into how physical activity can help combat insulin resistance and improve your overall health. Have you ever wondered how exercise can impact your health beyond just weight loss or cardiovascular fitness? Today we're diving into the fascinating world of insulin resistance a health concern that's more common than you might think and can lead to serious conditions like type 2 diabetes. But here's the good news. Exercise can play a pivotal role in managing and even reversing insulin resistance. From jogging in the park to lifting weights in the gym, physical activity can help your body use insulin more effectively, ultimately improving your overall health. However, remember that every body is unique and what works for one person may not work for another. Therefore, before beginning any new exercise regimen, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional to ensure it's safe and suitable for your specific needs. Stay tuned as we delve into the specifics of how exercise can help combat insulin resistance. So what exactly is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is a condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to the hormone insulin. Insulin plays a crucial role in the body's metabolism, particularly in regulating blood sugar levels. It allows cells to absorb glucose, the body's primary source of energy. When the cells resist insulin signals, glucose can't be absorbed efficiently, leading to high blood sugar levels. Now what causes insulin resistance? There's no single cause, but several factors contribute to the development of this condition. These include genetic predisposition, obesity, poor diet, lack of physical activity, and certain health conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome. Stress and lack of sleep can also play a role. Insulin resistance is often a silent condition, meaning you might not notice any symptoms until your blood sugar levels become significantly elevated. However, some people may experience symptoms such as fatigue, hunger, difficulty concentrating, and weight gain. If left unmanaged, insulin resistance can lead to prediabetes and eventually type 2 diabetes, a chronic condition that affects how your body processes glucose. Over time, high blood sugar levels can damage various organs and systems in the body, leading to serious health complications such as heart disease, kidney disease, and nerve damage. But here's the important part. Insulin resistance is not a life sentence. It's a wake-up call, signaling that it's time to make lifestyle changes. And one of the most effective ways to reverse insulin resistance is through regular physical activity. Exercise can increase insulin sensitivity, meaning your cells become better at responding to insulin and absorbing glucose. This can help lower blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Now that we understand insulin resistance, let's explore how exercise can help. In the next segment, we'll dive into the specific types of exercise that can boost insulin sensitivity and help reverse insulin resistance. So stay tuned because you won't want to miss this. Exercise isn't just about burning calories. It can have a profound impact on our body's insulin sensitivity. When we talk about insulin sensitivity, we're referring to how responsive our cells are to insulin. The more sensitive they are, the better they can use glucose from our bloodstream, which helps regulate our blood sugar levels. Insulin resistance, on the other hand, is when our cells become less responsive to insulin, resulting in high blood sugar levels. This is a major risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes. But here's the silver lining. Exercise can significantly improve insulin sensitivity and help manage blood sugar levels effectively. When we engage in physical activity, our muscles need more energy which is supplied by glucose. This demand for glucose by our muscles during exercise helps lower blood sugar levels. Moreover, exercise also helps to burn fat, reducing the amount of fatty acids in the body, which can interfere with insulin's effectiveness. The great thing about exercise is that its impact on insulin sensitivity isn't just short-term. Regular physical activity can lead to long-term improvements in insulin function. It's a bit like a snowball effect. The more you exercise, the more your insulin sensitivity improves, which in turn makes it easier to maintain healthy blood sugar levels. It's important to note that while exercise can play a significant role in managing insulin resistance, 
it's not a standalone solution. A balanced diet, adequate sleep, and stress management are equally important in maintaining optimal health. So the takeaway is this. Exercise isn't merely a tool for weight loss. It's a powerful ally in the fight against insulin resistance and can play a crucial role in preventing type 2 diabetes. It's about more than just looking good. It's about feeling good and staying healthy. Now, let's look at some specific forms of exercise that can help reverse insulin resistance. Aerobic exercise, high-intensity interval training, and resistance training all offer unique benefits in managing insulin resistance. Let's dive into each of these activities and how they can help you. First up is aerobic exercise. This type of activity is anything that gets your heart rate up and keeps it there for a while. The benefits are numerous. It improves cardiovascular health, burns calories, and aids weight loss. Plus, it's accessible. You can start with something as simple as walking, jogging, or cycling. However, it may be challenging for those with joint issues and requires a time commitment for optimal benefits. For example, a brisk 30-minute walk five days a week can significantly improve insulin sensitivity. Next, we have high-intensity interval training, or HIIT. This is a time-efficient way to exercise that's highly effective at improving insulin sensitivity and boosting metabolism. It involves short bursts of intense exercise followed by recovery periods. For instance, you could alternate 30 seconds of sprinting with 30 seconds of walking for 15 to 20 minutes. But be warned, height can be intense and may not suit everyone. There's also a higher risk of injury if not done properly. Finally, let's talk about resistance training. This form of exercise builds muscle mass which improves insulin sensitivity. It also increases metabolism and strengthens bones. This might involve using gym equipment or weights to perform exercises like squats, push-ups, and rows. You could aim for a full body strength training routine two to three times per week. However, it's important to maintain proper form to avoid injury. In summary, aerobic exercise, HIIT, and resistance training each offer unique benefits for managing insulin resistance. They improve insulin sensitivity, boost metabolism, and aid in weight management. Remember though, to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new exercise program, especially if you have existing health conditions. But there's more. Let's continue to explore other types of exercises. Yoga, swimming, and cycling, these exercises may not be the first to come to mind when thinking about insulin resistance, but they can be incredibly beneficial. So, let's start with yoga. Yoga is a mindful practice that not only improves flexibility and balance but also reduces stress, a key factor in managing insulin resistance. However, while yoga is a low-impact option suitable for many fitness levels, it may not provide as much cardiovascular benefit as other forms of exercise, and for beginners, some poses might be a bit challenging. But don't worry, with practice, you'll get the hang of it. For instance, a 60-minute yoga session focusing on sun salutations and standing poses can be a great start. Next up, we have swimming. This low-impact joint-friendly exercise provides both cardiovascular and resistance training, aiding in weight management. It's a good option if you're looking for a full-body workout. However, swimming requires access to a pool, and not everyone feels comfortable in water. If you're up for it, try swimming laps for 30 minutes, three times a week. Lastly, let's talk about cycling. This low-impact cardiovascular exercise can be done indoors or outdoors, and is excellent for improving leg strength and endurance. However, it requires a bicycle or access to a stationary bike. And if you're cycling outdoors, safety can be a concern in some areas. But don't let that deter you. A 45-minute moderate-intensity cycling session can do wonders for your insulin sensitivity. In conclusion, yoga, swimming, and cycling each have their own unique benefits and potential drawbacks. But the key takeaway here is that incorporating these exercises into your routine can have a significant impact on your insulin sensitivity. So whether you're a fan of the mat, the pool, or the bike, there's an exercise out there that can help you manage your insulin resistance effectively and enjoyably. Incorporating these exercises into your routine can have a significant impact on your insulin sensitivity. Exercise is a powerful tool in the fight against insulin resistance. We've explored the concept of insulin resistance and how it can lead to serious health conditions like type 2 diabetes. We've also uncovered how different forms of exercise, from aerobic and high-intensity interval training, to resistance training, yoga, swimming, and cycling can significantly improve insulin sensitivity and in turn, reverse insulin resistance. Each type of exercise brings its unique advantages, and it's crucial to find the one that suits your lifestyle, 
fitness level, and personal preferences. Remember the goal is not to push yourself to the limit, but to establish a sustainable routine that you enjoy. Remember, it's not about doing the most intense workouts, but about finding an exercise routine that you enjoy and can stick with. In conclusion, exercise is a powerful tool in reversing insulin resistance. By incorporating regular physical activity into your lifestyle, you can improve your insulin sensitivity, manage your blood sugar levels, and reduce your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Remember, every step counts. Even small increases in physical activity can make a big difference in your health. Thank you for joining us in the Victory Education Lounge. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends who might benefit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on health, wellness, and personal development. Until next time, stay active, stay healthy, and keep striving for victory in all aspects of your life. Disclaimer. The information provided in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. It is not intended as medical advice. Any health-related decision should be discussed with a licensed physician or qualified healthcare professional, especially if you have existing health conditions or are taking medications.